All right, guys, how's it going? KCB3 here with some quick gaming news for you. So pretty much people who have a PS3 and live in the U.S., United States, and was looking for the Naruto Storm, um, Naruto Storm Revolution demo, I'm afraid I got some bad news because um, it has been delayed. Now, many people already know this already. If you're a Naruto fan, if you actually was looking forward to this game, this demo like I was, you was already looking forward to this game to begin with. Um, then out of nowhere, on the same day, it got delayed. So uh, one of the main reasons why it got delayed is we don't even know. That's kind of crazy. Um, the developer, developer themselves pretty much will let us know up to date what the situation is. And pretty much I think it has to deal with something on Sony's side because this game was actually getting pumped up. Uh, for the last two to three weeks, this game was glorified coming on July 2nd, which was yesterday. Out of nowhere, on that day, out of nowhere, we seen that the game was going to be delayed. And actually the PS3 U.S. demo is coming out next Tuesday. Uh, Xbox 360 fans in the U.S. can already play it now. And people who has a PS3 and live in Japan can already play it now because it came out Wednesday this morning. So pretty much if you have a, if you live in the United States and you want to play this demo and you have a PS3 and don't have a 360, you can always use, uh, you can always make a Japanese account, uh, navigate through it and pretty much download it from there. It doesn't really take that much. I don't, uh, I forgot how much giga, how much memory it will take. It's not even that much. Anyway, it's a demo. Uh, it takes about like 10, 15 minutes at least, and you have to stall it, which is another 5 or 10 minutes. So um, that's pretty much what you got to do. And next week, U.S., hopefully we will get the demo that we pretty much were waiting for. So and uh, some other news uh, yesterday, which was actually kind of big. Uh, I've seen a whole bunch of Facebook groups. I've seen it everywhere, everywhere, every gaming site I go to, because pretty much what I do, I look up articles to see what I'm going to talk about and, you know, post it in the group or whatnot. And one of the big things was, uh, as you can actually use the DualShock 4 now for the PS3. Now, pretty much how to use this, uh, you have to download a, uh, a patch uh, for the PS3, which is a firmware 4.60, I believe. And from there, you have to use the USB cable to the DualShock 4 and the PS3 console. From there, you have to go to the uh, main menu, go to accessory settings, click on Bluetooth uh, devices. While you're there, click the scan button, and pretty much what it's going to do is going to scan, scan for anything Bluetooth uh, which within the range, about like 15, you know, 15 feet or something like that, 15, 20 feet. Uh, then from there, hold the share button on the PS4 controller and wait a couple of minutes and, or a couple of seconds, sorry, and the component for uh, the wireless DualShock 4 will come up as an option. Click X uh, and then you will be able to actually play the uh, PS3 with the DualShock 4 wirelessly, which I, which I think is pretty cool. I knew it was going to come eventually. Uh, I, I didn't, I don't know how big that really going to make it. Uh, I mean, I know it's big now. I didn't know how many, how many people really want to play the PS3 with the DualShock 4. Many people that I know, they pretty much either gave away the PS3 or sold it or something like that and moved over to the next generation and left the old generation behind. Uh, but this is also some, you know, some big news. This is a big, you know, big news, uh, even though you want to, you want to stick with a new generation like feel without using that old generation controller you know it seems uh seems uh legit you know not, not saying i don't have anything wrong with the dualshock 3 but dualshock 4 it feels pretty comfortable you know with you know the controller overall and uh you know the smoothness and stuff of it so that's pretty much about it like comment subscribe let me know what you think about this gaming news i'll see you guys in my next video